Hi there and welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can design a website uh, that people will love. So, um, in fact, that's, uh, that's really important. When you design a website, uh, what must be happening is that the one which is giving uh, the order in order to uh, design the website is uh, the website owner. So let's say the owner of the company most of the time and the main issue with this is that this person tend to think that actually knows what his uh, customer wants and that's the main issue because this person is probably the worst uh, person probably the least person who's going to make uh, the final purchase because a given owner will probably never eat within its own restaurant so and uh, that, that's really important to note is that when they design the website, they just think about uh, what they think their people want, whereas actually uh, they have the wrong uh, diagnostic. So in order to avoid this, um, one way you can tackle it is to find out surveys, studies, audits, uh, which have been conducted about uh, your specific field of activity and then you will know in fact what people want so you can grab different information from it out of the internet either coming from trade unions or uh, coming from uh, competitor analysis or whatever like this or even uh, qualitative analysis such as here this is just uh, a personal opinion which is about a restaurant so when i enter within a restaurant it should be clean uh, there should be a good ambience um, there should be have a table or at least i should not be wait uh, that much long in order to get a seat and so on so forth and same thing over here if you look at this given a blog post are ranking like the top 10 factors according to them about what makes a good restaurant like the experience like the delicious food and so on and so forth so what is really interesting is to list all those given needs okay to have a good experience um, to have delicious foods uh, to have the price and offering uh, to have as well uh, to know the type of food. So you list that out in, um, in a spreadsheet document, in a uh, writer document, whatever you want, right? All those lists, and then you ask yourself how those needs uh, can be, in fact, uh, developed for a website. And then you're going to see if those given needs are, in fact, uh, shown on your website. So I'm going to take this one, right? Like it should be clean and the ambience uh, should be good. So it means that if I land on this given website, which is a restaurant website, I should try to identify um, how, let's say, how the ambience could be reflected and how, uh, as I said, um, is, does it mean that the restaurant is clean? And as you can see, um, I do not have any, any picture of the restaurant here. So I cannot even judge if the restaurant is clean or not, which is typically the case when you go on marketplaces, when you can book hotels. You, the first thing that you see is the room. Um, I expect the food to be delicious. And as you can see here, the pictures um, are not well taken. So it's kind of difficult after that to uh, really judge if uh, the quality is good. Um, same thing over here, right? you can see that they were talking about price and offering. That's definitely not uh, the thing that I can see straight away. I don't see on the landing page anything which deal about dollars. Even if, if I click on the menu here, I guess a menu. Yeah, I guess I can see uh, the, the dollar thing. So that's very important, actually, that on the home page, you get all those little things that you can uh, reflect about, uh, about the website. Um, here you can see that there are things which are interesting, which is the uh, book online possibility. Um, but you don't even know, so I'm going to just select the date, okay? Uh, we're going to see if they are announcing if party size like two people reserved now. Because here what could be interesting is to say uh, how much people or how much booking they already have. Like this, it's already giving you the information if the restaurant is going to be crowded at this given date or not. So that's everything that I wanted to, to tell you. It's all about the list that you're going to get out of analysis and survey and then going to see how you can adapt actually those uh, given uh, piece of information within your website and in fact release data that you already have internally or at least you will need uh, to insert within this website a system in order to release those data 
in order to uh, make kind of an open data website on which uh, you can disclose information which will be highly variable for the end uh, customer and like this you can design a great uh, a great website for them uh, just to let you know that probably out of those features some of them are pure R&D so you will need to spend some time on it it doesn't mean that uh, week two for example when you will release the website all of them will be implemented but you have to work uh, fiercely and uh, and continuously in order to release all those different features and make a great experience for uh, your end customer and other websites they love thanks for watching this video